A lot of folks take supplements, we know that. And Elle McPherson, a lot of people know her. Well, she's actually helping to market a new protein powder to kids. Question, Hollywood hope or hype? So the model just launched, I'm gonna pull this up here, but just launched this $30 protein powder and says it contains everything a kid needs. She says it's an organic, whole food, vegan, gluten-free supplement. Now she says it's gluten-free on her blog. The nutrition label actually states differently, but anyway, you, you, you guys already know how I feel about this. Um, so I'm just gonna step back. Well, I know how you feel about supplements in general, and then yeah. when you go to the next level, kids developing brains, developing bodies, and saying that they need this stuff, it questions the motivation behind it. Well, absolutely, and I, and I think children already can be picky eaters. And I think when you cater to that and you're like, oh, it's okay not to eat normal, whole, healthy food, and we're just gonna make it up with some powder that probably has sweeteners, it may have some artificial other ingredients in it, because supplements are actually regulated very differently than typical so, medications. So, so, so you're so right on, because what, what kid is not fussy about eating, we mm -hmm. all were, Absolutely. and you're buying into that mindset, oh, well, my child is a fussy eater, and, and, and Elle claims that her, her son is a very picky eater. Yeah. Every kid is. Correct. Come and on, you say you've gotta try it, taste it, you may like it, and more often than not, they'll, they'll buy on it, but you have to stick with them. You can't let them get away with that. Oh no, I don't wanna eat my vegetables, I don't wanna do this, I don't, I don't wanna, that, that's something that will go on the rest of their life. Absolutely, and, and I think that teaching them that they don't have to eat healthy, balanced diets, and you're going to make it up in some other way is not really a good message to send there's, kids. there's another issue at play here, and that is our obsession with protein supplements. You know, the recommended 13-year-old should consume about 34 grams of protein a day, yet one serving of chicken is 38 grams of protein. We, we have this mindset, and I actually talk all the time about it, have protein in every meal. Mm -hmm. Spread it out throughout the day, and I'm completely fine with putting some protein in a shake if you so choose. But it, it's sort of a myth that we're not getting enough protein. Most people who eat a balanced diet, we know there's so many wonderful sources of protein. Look at us, look at yeah. us physically, and look at our brain power up here. We didn't take no stinking supplements as kids. <laughs> well, and it's interesting, it's interesting that plant-based proteins are so healthy for you because, number one, you don't have to, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm reading through the list of ingredients, it's a paragraph long, and look, I'm not against this, I'm not saying this is inherently a bad product, but the third ingredient are sweeteners, and it includes xylitol and steviol glycosides, but it has certified organic coconut sugar, my point is only that Steve when we... Is, is, it's is all artificial, artificial sweetener. sweetener. It is. Yeah. The protein supplement, I'll almost call it a controversy because now you're looking at some studies that say, well, wait, too much protein overload at once, it does. That's that can be tough on your kidneys. And so I worry that people equate adding more and more and more and more and more and more protein powders to every single meal and every single that they feel like they're being healthier and maybe just the opposite. 34 grams. So as a mom, whenever my kids give me a really hard time about trying new foods, you know, you don't want to overwhelm them, but at least you know that sometimes you have to introduce things multiple times for them to try it. But I think it sends the wrong message that you're going to cater to this pickiness and cater to this fussiness because they're going to have to live in the real world. They're not going to be able to supplement all the time. And, and I mean, you know, set by example, I, you know, Nick Usually your kids are gonna fight you a little bit, but I got my kids at early age eating eating veggies, veggies and eating fish. Mm -hmm. and, and let me just add my humble done. thoughts on this. Again, I'm not averse to occasionally using protein powders at all. The key though is when you're looking at a supplement, a protein supplement, and it has a list of 500 things and it's, and it's chocolate or vanilla, it's not natural chocolate or natural vanilla, it's just there's, there's sugar or sweeteners in that. So what you wanna do is if you're going to add a protein supplement, let's say you add it to a smoothie, add it to things like coconut milk and yogurt and berries, and if you wanna put a little honey in there so your kid, like, just make it real.